Hello everyone, my name is Ojoshikpe Oluwa Toby Wande. My stage name is Wande Ko. State of origin, I'm from Ogun State, Ijebu Day, precisely. Welcome to my episode of My Music and I on Sound City. Black Diamond. The name of the record label is Black Diamond. The name of the album is Wanted. It's right here. You see it on the streets, get it? And it has 23 tracks in it. So now I'm gonna be selecting six songs of the album that I really think, you know, are like very inspirational and, you know, got to me in terms of sound and, uh, you know, creativity. Number one track I would say is Adura. Adura on the track is the first song on the album. Um, it's very motivational. Everybody knows what Adura means. Adura means my prayer has been answered. You know, I've been away for a while, you know, it took me time to like, you know, be able to put this album together. So Adura felt like, you know, my story on this album. Adura miti You already know, don't know. Go get the album. I would say is Make You Mine featuring Two Face. Cash the Crews, everybody knows that, you know, I've always wanted to work with Two Face. Legendary Beats did the beat. I didn't even know I was gonna put Two Face on the track, but you know, my mind was just like, you know, it would be good to work with Two Face. And I made it happen, trust me. It took me like three nights, I was always going to his house, you know, but yeah, it happened. And Make You Mine is a love song. It's kind of a Caribbean, Caribbean-ish sound and it's an international sound too and you know two faces international always you know so i just felt like it would be good for both of us to be on the track and trust me this is why i killed it Black diamond. Yeah. Superwoman is R&B ish. Was produced by Zella. For those of you that don't know Zella, Zella was one that did Black Magic Repete. Was one that was in the Leo tour. Was my video Ash McBain, the tall guy on the tank. The concept behind the song is about you know women. You know we love our women. You know as boys we're allowed to be boys. You know but sometimes you know we have to talk to the women too. So I mean like cause I did Ololufe like four or five years ago. I decided to create something you know R&B ish and Zella produced the track, and I and my younger brother, T. Josh, we wrote on the song together, and um, yeah, it became a smash. It's Monster. The man it turned to a monster. It's a woman who me call like bear for me. Making money, I'm a killer. All day she, no weapon against me. Okay, Monster. I mean, Monster was produced by Legendary Beast. You know, they had like, different beats that they gave to me and you know first of all you know I, I i messed with some sounds but i wasn't still feeling it that you know the album was actually complete but i still was feeling some type of way like you know the album and then they gave me like five beats and i rejected it i said no i want something and one day they just entered the studio again dropped the beat and immediately i just jumped on the track i didn't even waste time first of all it sounded like a freestyle then i started writing on it and then yeah, Monster was written by, by me. I, it was just my feeling. It was just my bad boy zone. I just wanted to go into one kind of zone. And you know, the song happened to now be a smash. You know, it happened to be you see, one of my favorites too, so yeah. So she only need a man for the weekend, weekend, yeah, yeah. Man, weekend was inspired by so many things. That bad boy zone, just chilling. Weekend is, the, the chorus goes like, and she only need a man for the weekend, weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, don't know, killed it. Fresh international stars, all those guys. So, I mean, you gotta listen to it on the album. One wah mini boro, so they find mini boro, how I'm for Yo, the name of the track, album, everything, Wanted. Wanted was inspired by my fans because everywhere I go they be like one day you know let me tell you how the street boys do one day but what happened right here you know kilo to Congo corner 
In English means, where have you been, bro? We've been looking for you, you know? And everywhere I go, people say, where's your album? Where's your album? So I decided to call the album Wanted. And that song, Wanted, has a song on, that, on the album and has a remix. I actually love both of them. First one was done by me. Second one was done by Bonner Boy. So, Wanted was inspired by that that I told you about. The first one was produced by Major Banks. And the remix was produced by Saz on the Beat. I'm open to a lot of collaborations. I want to work with almost and almost and almost and almost everybody. If, you know, obviously the business is right. And doesn't mean payments, just structure. You know what I'm saying? I love some new cats going out and doing their thing right now. I like Olamide, I like Luke Cash, I like uh, Kiss Daniel. Who else is out there? I like all of them. IOJ, Budge, all those new, fresh, you know, new sound. Africa wise, I like to work with Sakode. I don't have a song with Sakode. I like to work with Sakode. I like to work with Diamond Platinum. I like to work with him too. Fali Pupa, Asha. Those are my guys. You know what I'm and all. Everybody. International wise, I like to work with Osha. I like Osha. I like R. Kelly, Akon. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah. My worst performance would be, there was a time where the first time we recorded Move Your Body, that was um, when I was in Mohis with the band, John Jazzy. We recorded the song in Abuja, and then by the time we got to Lagos to do the sound check, I totally forgot the song. So by the time we were performing during sound check, I was singing off key. So, and it was too bad, I felt bad. So at the end of the day, somebody now told us that we're performing off key, and I said, ah, okay, let me go and listen to the song again. Obviously, it's a new song, you know, it's hard for you to just, you have to have listened to it like a hundred times to be able to just go and perform it. When the show day came, after the, the sound check, we went there to perform, and it was, when time I watched it on TV, I felt bad. And you know, I think that, that was the only time, like, I really, really felt bad performing off, you know, off point, like on stage. And since then, you know, yeah, I've been working hard. My best performance would be Cyprus. Turkey. By the time I got, we, we had to fly like three planes to get there. When we got there, it was already late, so we had to sleep at the airport. The next morning, the promoters came to get us. We drove to the show, and by the time I got to the show, that was the first time I ever seen like a lot of girls crying. And they just so much. Because I was like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> For real? But I had fun, you know, that was my best show. But the C2 was there, we were there together with my management, so, I mean, yeah, we killed it. As for future plans, I intend to shoot videos of this album, a lot of videos of this album. I intend to do, like, collaborations. I intend to sign artists. I intend to keep working. Next year is going to be, like, a great year. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of things, both Sound City, Urban Radio, many other things. Watch out, you know, we're gonna be sending some gifts to our fans, our dear fans. So next year is gonna be fire. Black Diamond Entertainment, coming through, East Kaba. So, Wani Code, this is the end of Wani Code. Music and I episode on Sound City. I want to say I love my fans. This album is for my fans. It won't happen without you guys, you know, and for the push that you guys always push me and ask me where the album is, you know. That's why I was able to do this. I want to say I love you guys. This is the end of my episode. 214444466000. It's Kaba. Thank you very much, Sound City. I'll see you later. Yeah,